everyone, how's it going? This is Baz. And uh, since we are doing nine months Kickstarter, I have a little bit of time to go over just some of the very basics of Pixel Game Maker. I've noticed that there is not a lot of top-down tutorials for it. And so I figured even a few videos on just how to get started, um, some of the, the thoughts, uh, the thought process for um, doing the um, act the object actions and stuff like that it, it'll help you get at least a start and and understand the engine better so let's get started and uh, this is just an intro we'll download it and then I'll go over where to get some resources and then we will go to the next video so if you already got it you can probably just go to the next video and we'll be good so pixel game maker we will type that in the search on Steam <laughs> And uh, I'm going to, I have the demo, um, I'm going to buy it the next time it's on sale, but for right now I got 10 days left on the demo, and you can give it a uh, try, go ahead and download it and install it, and uh, double click into it, and it will pop up just like this, shows you your recent projects, um, yours will be blank, um, then you've got create project and you've got sample projects may take a minute to load. The UI is probably the weakest point right now, but it's also the thing that they're working on right now that it's out. So the UI is going to get some love and it definitely needs it. It's it it's pretty rough at times. Um let's see here. So yeah, you can download these things. <clears throat> and this is kind of how I've been doing it. I've been downloading these and just kind of seeing what they did, but um one of the hard parts is though is that a lot of their actions and stuff are and 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 various things in the editor are Japanese and it's hard to understand where things are coming from. So we're gonna create our own project and I'm just gonna call it PGM tutorial. And one of these names you cannot change. So I I'm pretty sure it's a project name, but I know it's in the manual. So, and it doesn't matter, like it's, it's not like anyone's going to see it, but just note that one of these names will, you will not be able to change once you create it. We want to create a blank. Um, you can create one with all the RTP, which is nice coming from RM where, you know, you couldn't just have a blank s slate, you know, I always used, or we uh, used uh, Galv's one of Galv's demos for a blank slate and upgraded it to 1.6.1 because it was four megabytes. And I, I've just kind of saved one off to the side for a uh, blank template. But anyway, we're in PGM. Uh, hit next. Uh, we want the top down. You can just choose from either. Yep, top down. And here we want the tile size. We want it to be 32 by 32. That's the assets we're gonna be using. Uh, 16 by 9, and I'm going to go with 1280 by 720. Uh, just something to note that their plan next year is to be able to export your games on PGM to the Switch. And what I've read, the Switch is native 1280 by 720, so you won't be you won't go wrong with something like this. This for the game challenge, the six month challenge. And then uh, number of players. You can have up to four, but I will probably not get into that for a while. And you hit OK to create a game. So you're in here. You will always have a blank menu scene. I don't know exactly what it is yet. But I just want to go over the order of operations in PGM. And that is you import a resource. You then make an animation with those resources you make yeah just an animation with those resources then you use those animations tie them to objects and make those objects do things in the objects tab meanwhile you're adding your tiles and you're making a tile map well you don't have to make the tile map you're just adding the tile resources then you're on your scene and you are putting your tiles, your objects and other calc and you know calculations or other things together basically. And then 
The last thing is transitions, where you're transitioning from map to map to map to map. Basically, uh, you go to this, when this happens, you go to this map, when this happens, you go to this map after that. And that's the order, of, that's really it. Resources, you make a thing, an animation out of those resources. Then you mold it into action, into objects and actions. With the tiles, you then create a scene and then you make those scenes transition to each other. And that's really it. So order of operations, we'll get started importing resources next, but let's talk a little bit about the support for Pixel Game Maker. Right now it is very, very low. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a bummer because this engine is really fun to uh, develop in. But really, the main form that you're going to find is on the, uh, let me go back here, it's on the, the Pixel Game Maker page of the of Steam. You click on just View Discussions down here. And this is really it. And there's very few. There's a couple by me. There's uh, a couple guys that are looking at it from, you know, coming from RM. And there's not much you can search because there's just not much documented. I hope this changes. I hope that we can, um, I hope more people get involved and there's, there's more, um, for, for new people to get started with. So you, you do have this though. And then also on the RM forums and I'll post these all in the links. Um, I also link to discords. Um, they, they really have the same people with a few, uh, variances and so and that's really going to be it for for your um, information so with that said I will get ready for the first thing and that will be importing our resources all right